Hi there, I'm Julie Tam, partner and broker at Lynn Realty, a brokerage serving generations of clients in the greater Houston area and from around the world since 1981. Welcome to my weekly Wednesday video series, Smarter Real Estate. I am going to take you on some of my day-to-day -day real estate adventures in this series and also offer helpful tips to buyers, sellers, tenants, and landlords. Today, I'm actually in my own home, and this video, just like all the others, is unedited and done in one take. I'm talking about this popular craze that's part of that Netflix series that you guys might have heard of called The KonMari Method. A Japanese lady teaches people how to tidy up their homes to spark joy in their lives. Boy, does a neat, organized, clean space spark joy for me. Um, I've got a little OCD, and so in the past few months, I've gone one by one through my drawers and con would them, okay? So I'm gonna show you this today, and why is this relevant to real estate? Well, when you're going to sell your home, buyers that come through your home are not just walking around your home and looking at things, not touching things, okay? Uh, whether you like it or not, they're going to be opening your drawers, cabinets, pantry, refrigerator, oven, microwave, everything. So you've gotta make sure that everything looks good even in places where you think they are hidden. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do some a little bit of organization so that you can make everything look better uh, because that not only appeal, appeals to buyers aesthetically, but also they're going to think that a seller who takes care of the details in their home is going to be a seller that takes care of the big things like their foundation, their roof, their AC, regular maintenance, things like that. And that's going to bring more value to your home and therefore make a buyer more likely to make an offer and a better offer. All right, so I'm gonna spin this camera around since I am by myself. So I am both in front of the camera and behind the camera. Let's take a look at my son's chest of drawers, all right? So we've got bibs, burp cloths, socks, and mittens, and they're all organized by size and color. And this is the file cabinet organization system, as they call it, because like the file folders that you normally see in a filing cabinet, you're able to see each item just like this. If I had stacked all these bibs like this, just one on top of the other, you know, like sheets, well, then you couldn't see anything but the top bib. Uh, and if you're looking for a particular size or color, um, then you're not going to find it unless you dig down below. And sometimes in frustration, you just end up making a mess of your drawer because you don't feel like, you know, restacking or refolding them. Um, and, you know, so then that's just, you know, a bad idea all around. Here, we've got things uh, by size, these are onesies. So obviously the onesies that we're gonna use first are the smaller ones that are gonna be up front, going bigger in size, and then again, continuing bigger all the way back. Same with hats, smaller to larger. Next drawer is gonna be the pajamas, a one piece footed and non footed, as well as a couple of two pieces, organized in the same way. T-shirts. Uh, jumpsuits like one piece to go out in, pants and shorts, same thing, smaller sizes in the front, getting bigger as we go back. Um, and then we've got some sheets uh, over here on the left, and these are two pieces to go out in, and then these are sweaters and sweatshirts, so stuff to go on top. All right, we're gonna walk over here. This is my husband's chest of drawers, which um, our son has invaded <laughs> because he has so much stuff that people gave him. Uh, this drawer has blankets, swaddles, and um, um, uh, towels, bath towels, uh, washcloths, and a few uh, overflow burp cloths here that couldn't fit in the uh, in his own chest. And then up here are some of my husband's t-shirts. And so like you can see the colors and patterns, so whichever one um, he wanted to grab to wear on a casual day, he can do that. This is our dresser. As you can see, we have a lot of drawers, probably like your home. So don't try to tackle this all in one time. You know, just do one drawer a day, take everything out, um, sort everything, put everything out, organize them, and then stick it all back in. I'm not gonna show you all my intimate drawers, folks, but uh, here's my sock drawer. So you can see some ankle socks uh, organized by color, getting into the whites, and then um, some quarter socks, uh, trouser socks, uh, festive, you know, seasonal socks, um, a little bit longer socks and then knee highs, okay? Um, so this just uh, shows you what can be done. And this is also a really good use of space to maximize the space, because as you can see, it's so crammed in here, there's barely any, you know, empty space uh, in between each item. So you really are maximizing everything. You wanna also make everything as tall as possible. Uh, you don't wanna be scraping, you know, as you open and close a drawer, but um, you wanna see here, like, these are just at the very maximum height. That way um, you can uh, 
really maximize the vertical space as well. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, please leave comments, questions, and any other remarks and also ideas for future videos down in the comments below uh, or send me a direct message. Thank you for watching and I will see you next Wednesday for another video in my series, Smarter Real Estate. Bye-bye.